Oh, you're on. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I wore this and this and my shoes and my dress and my bandana and my hair like this and and I uh my vampy uh or my vampire um bat felt hair clip that my boyfriend got me at Onigon. Um, uh, hold on. You bitch. Okay. What? Why? Okay, no. Anyway. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, new stuff. I've got the video coming out. I'm in the editing process. Um, so that should be here in like a couple weeks, so have your ears and eyes out on the YouTubes, guys, you know. It's really funny how I tell you guys to like comment on my last video, and you guys commented on what video I should do, which I'm not telling you whether it was industrial hard style, because it's not worth it, okay? You gotta find out. Yeah, because you guys all like commented, or not commented, uh, messaged me on freaking Facebook again when I took, like, you guys are hilarious. Just, never mind. The video is coming out in a couple weeks. Just look for it. Okay. And it was up to you guys who voted on Facebook since I told you to vote really kind of on YouTube, but whatever. Wherever y'all respond, I just, yeah, okay. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so I cannot wait for Vamsgiving. Uh, this weekend, uh, I'm going over to my boyfriend's house to his, to see his family for Vamsgiving. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, uh, so lately things have been busy. I only have one day a week. Uh, crazy people come in to work, and it's crazy. A uh, bunch of drunks coming in, usually most of the time. And it's just like, I don't really like everyday people. I just, I really don't. Like, people are so lucky that I use my imagination that half the time I just hope to God that the rest of their day goes shitty and that eventually everybody dies, and that's about it. But... You know, like, it's really hard to serve someone who, who like, wakes up in the, like, I wonder if everybody, like, wakes up in the morning and just wonders who the first person of the day that's going to help them, uh, they're going to treat them like shit, you know? So I'm like, I'm just like, is that, is that something people do? <laughs> because, you know, people, like, just come in with, like, the weirdest of attitudes sometimes, and it just really, I try not to be action-reaction with people, and it, it's just really hard, you know? Uh, I, I, I just don't, like people <laughs> like I mean and, it, and it's not normally everybody but it's like those certain people that just get on my nerves you know and I'm really serious you know if you want something I'll get it for you that's it I don't joke around you know it's you know people tell me to smile more and it's like bitch you try and come behind you know a counter and do eight things at once you know and try and while your manager's watching you and you know doing everything all at once you know like like people just they think like what you do is just super easy and it's not nothing is easy and they think that just because they're the customer or they're the customer that you have to kiss their ass and do literally everything you know a certain order although try and get something for free and I just I almost wonder if that's what makes them you know their joy out of their morning I don't understand it. But anyway, yeah, just it's light outside. I'm up this morning. It's another crazy freaking morning out of 30 minutes of my day. 30 minutes of my day, I'm either eating, sleeping, maybe, you know, and then for the rest of the day, I'm sleeping. Or I'm doing push-ups and writing my book, which has been a consistent of 40 hours uh, from last week. This week, not so much. This week, I, I worked five consecutive days in a row, or nights in a row, if you will, um, up until Thursday, I think, and then I worked the following Friday. So it, it, it's been just crazy. I can't really dance at crypto anymore. I don't really have a social life, which really just sucks because now I'm setting my priorities straight since, you know, I have the boyfriend in my life now and things have just kind of gotten serious. So now I'm just trying to pick up my end and try and do more, you know, and, and responsible, you know, and I get my car next month, which is also really stressful you know, trying to make sure I get all the certain amount of money to make payments on it, and yada, 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 and, you know, all that great stuff. It's just been fun. It's been really tiring, though. Um, I did go to Liquid Stranger with my boyfriend on Thursday of last week, which was really, really, really fun at Stereo Live, except for Stereo Live isn't, like, crypto. Stereo Live's, like, the people who wear, like, the stupid booty dresses and the high heel, the high heel, uh, shoes, 
or they'll wear cowboy hats and regular regular clothes and like take pictures of themselves and say they've been to a rave. You have not been to a rave. <laughs> no. Um, I like I know there's like classy ones, like you have like your electronic, you know, um or, or hard like hard trance or like oldie stuff, you know, like like your trance kind of music sound, you know, like the ones in the movies kinda, you know, like the classier looking ones that I can understand, but just I wouldn't call that really like a rave. You know, like I'd say like a club, like a regular club, a regular dance club with just electronic music, which is, you know, trance or like even house music. But I mean, it's not like a rave, you know, I mean, you, you guys get what I mean. I'm sure you get what I mean. It just, it's so tacky to me. And like, uh, when I went there as myself, like, I, I don't know, it's just, I don't understand people. Um, because, you know, everybody thinks that since they're out after midnight that they think they're so badass, but I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, but I did go to Liquid Stranger, and um, I'm going to be putting my, my, uh, oh, what do you call it, my website down below. Scott Michaels' music is freaking amazing. I've heard his hard dance, or his hard style, and his, like, hard trance kind of sounds pretty amazing, if I, if you will. Almost sounds like industrial just a little bit, but not really, not that close. I wish he would do industrial music. Like, that would just make my, my day. I would love, I think, I think I would fall in love with him. And I don't mean, like, fall in love with him, but I mean, the art, as an artist, you know, I think I would just, I would curl up and just cry <laughs> if he did industrial music. I would, I don't know what I would do with myself. <laughs> but, um, he played some really good dubstep, dirty dubstep, you know? And I'm not talking when you hear dubstep, you think of wah, 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 you have all that crazy stuff. Yeah, no. Um, original dubstep was from like 08 and 09, and then like 2010 and beyond just sucked. <laughs> and till now, sucks. But the kind of raves that were at like like the Meridian and Villains and Riches and, oh, God, like two other places I'm forgetting right now because it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I've been, you know, um, awake since 10 o'clock last night. But, um, you know, like, uh, those are like the hard whoop, 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 and then you'd have some like hard beats in it and it would just, and it keeps going though for a while, you know, it doesn't constantly change its pace. It keeps going that same beat for a while and you can still kind of go and you feel the energy and nothing matters. No substance matters, you know, except for cigarettes really, but, <laughs> but no, no substance matters. There was, that that was a time and a place where like substance didn't matter, you know, before people and music. People and music comes first. It came first. Before all this stupid plur shit bullshit that, you know, these fucking douchey people came up with just to have no hate, which nobody gave a shit about what you looked like or what you felt in the first place at a fucking rave. No one cares. That's what the purpose of a rave is. It's kind of like Woodstock, you know, where you go as you feel and you're going to see your favorite bands or you go to Warped Tour, you go as you feel and you see, you go see your favorite bands. You know, that's whole point of a rave, you know, you go and dress up as you feel and you go and see the artists you want to like, I just, I guess I'm so simple in equation that I just don't give a fuck, and I just really don't care about people's feelings. I mean, I do, you know, when, but I don't care about the little sensitive ones that just are just a bunch of attention whores, you know? The, you know, there's some cool chicks that'll dress really wacky and strange, but they're totally chill, and then you'll have, like, the people that come in there that are just totally wacky and strange, but attention whores. And they'll just dress like up in a thong and a bra and fluffies and they'll go and they're like, why is he looking at my ass? Or did you see him? He flirted with me. And it's like, you do realize that you are wearing lingerie, like you are signed up for a cat house, right? Like you're, you, you know, like, I just, I don't understand people. I don't understand their logic. And then let's see. So yeah, I had a really good time at Liquid Strangers. Sorry to get off topic, but the dirty, awesome dubstep, okay, original dubstep that just made you want to just keep going and really just get in one with yourself, and it just took you to another place, you know, it took you, like, by the soul, and just, like, you know, took you somewhere else, and it's just, it was so great to hear Scott's deck after a while, because I haven't been able to dance at Crypto or anywhere else, and it's just been super, super crazy, and Thursday was the only day I had off at that time, 
So it was just really good to relax and dance and get to my feet again. And just my whole body just felt so amazing. And I only had maybe like a couple of drinks. And other than that, I mean, it felt like it took me back to like 2009. It was really great. It was so much fun. Um, you know, with, with, uh, I just went with my boyfriend. I ended up seeing, uh, Asia Bunny there. And I ended up seeing Austin Jarnett, which you are amazing. I'm sorry, Austin. I had to include you in here because you are so cute and so amazing and so awesome that I, I didn't realize before that you are really an amazing photographer. And I don't mean this like out of, you know, like, oh, you're just a photographer. Like, like you're super sweet. You're dedicated to your work. You're just, you're an awesome friend, you know, uh, you're just, you're, I just realized over the last week that you're just an amazing person, and so I hold you very high, you know, so I, I look up to you, because you're just so incredibly sweet, and nice, and awesome, and you deserve everything you hope for in life, so I wanted to add that, um, you know, and then Asia's practically, like, my fucking life, like, she's just my twin, almost, um, you know, she's, she's like a sister to me, I really care about her, she's really sweet. Um, so if you hear this, I love you, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what's been up with life, chose to do this instead of writing, so I'll probably be going to bed after this, you know, but other than that, it's been really, really great and super, super fun, and sorry if this annoyed you the whole entire, like, 12 minutes that you guys, because, that you guys have been watching this, because I know you guys watch, actually watch this all the way through, and so you might have been hearing this the whole entire time, sorry, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I should be having the video up soon. I'll have links below, yada, yada. You know, figured I would do like 12 to 13 minutes because I don't know how long it will be that I'm able to do this again before I post the the new dance video and then another update and, you know, website information and so on and so forth. So I don't know when's the next time I'll be able to do something like this. So I figured, you know, I'd make a small little update. But, um, yeah. Um... Other than that, life's been good. I hope you guys are doing well. Comment below. Message me on Facebook. Message me on Tumblr, just like you guys have been doing. Thank you so much for liking my videos and watching them lately. Oh, my God, it makes me feel really amazing that you guys take interest and that I take interest in you. And it's just the conversations that I have on Facebook are beyond just really inspiring with some people, kind of like Maria. Um, Maria recently talked to you, and she asked me about my uh, – she asked me about my Amazon. So my Amazon, I will also put down there below for you, Maria, and for other people who do want to get me Christmas gifts this year. Um, I know people offered last year to get me Christmas gifts, and I said no because I didn't want you guys spending money on me and all that stuff. But Maria had demanded, literally, that I get an Amazon so she can buy me something. I said, okay, so we're going to be, like, switching stuff off and, and stuff like that. And so, Megan, I am still buying you more stuff. I am going to Old Town Spring today, or not today, um, Wednesday, sorry, and I'm going to be uh, going to buy you some more stuff that I think is going to be totally awesome. You're going to love it. Um, so other than that, I will put my Amazon down here for Maria, other people like Maria, and um, that want to get me stuff this year. You're more than welcome to. I don't beg you to or ask you to because I know, you can, I, I just, you know, I know, you know, like I just, I hate it when some people get me stuff, you know, especially from far away and their budget is crazy, and they've got other people in their life, so, but Maria demanded it, so I'm like, okay, you know, I'll do that for you, but anyway, uh, I will see you guys later, I'm going to bed, probably, <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, all right, I hope I will come to crypto soon, you guys, I love you, and I miss you, you guys, okay, bye, okay. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.